This is the state capitol building in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, 1880 this one is taken from, so they're showing us an early depiction of uh, this building that was built in three phases. Wikipedia gives us a short write-up here on how that went down. Construction on the East Wing beginning in 1866 using native limestone from Gary County, Kansas. Construction began on the West Wing in 1879. And in 1881, they authorized and appropriated funds for the construction of a central building to link the two wings. That contract was let in May of 1889. Now this, this is from 1881, we're told here. You can see the two wings just a, a year later than this photo, apparently, where there is no other wing. So we have to, I guess, make the assumption that this thing shot up in a year. And uh, a couple depictions of the interior here really show what we're dealing with as far as interior finish. Remember Topeka, Kansas. Late 1800s and by no means a large population in that early time period. Here you can see 15,000 just over in 1880. But apparently the resources were there and the manpower was there to construct such a structure. Here's a look at the uh, library in the modern day. You can see all the ornate finishing that went on here. Wrought iron stair railings, guardrails. Here's a modern day look at the structure. They say it's taller than the uh, U.S. state capitol. Not as wide, but uh, apparently taller. And they still have tours that can take you up into the top of the dome. It's a pretty amazing structure, and you see those early construction photos. Here's a, here's a look at the dome, the underside of the dome. Back to, yeah, there's an early construction photo there. This must be when they're, they're shooting up uh, the other wing here before they connected the two wings. Now, there's only pr one problem that I found with this narrative. And again, remember, according to Wikipedia, the construction on that dome portion um, begins 1889. I went on the Library of Congress and I found this early bird's eye view map of Topeka. Let's see, 1869 be the year for that. So according to the narrative, the one wing should have been begun. But really nothing else. But as we look at the sparse grid that they provide us, they do show the Capitol building completely intact as it looks today. So the, the question is, is this just an anticipation of what was to come uh, or depiction of what was to come or um, are we being lied to? Now that we've seen the capital, let's take a look a little more of Topeka, Kansas. The city where everyone is busy and happy. The City Beautiful. Reminding me of the City Beautiful project, which seems to be an explanation for a lot of the uh, architecture that went up in the early uh, 20th century. Looking at Topeka right here. So I've done a video on Wichita. Uh, I haven't done Kansas City, but been meaning to. Um, we've seen Omaha. We've seen St. Joseph. A uh, real hotbed for old world um, structures, in my opinion. And Topeka, by no means a large city. We're looking at about 130,000 in the modern day. Uh, just over 30,000 at the turn of the century. And uh, really not a lot going on uh, early on. So it's certainly not a big city. But we will see a lot of indications of a lot of stonework and large structures with towers. But before we get into that, Wikipedia gives us a, a brief write-up on the history, as they, as they always do. Um, 
<laughs> part of the narrative here. You get to, after the completion of the first cabin, nine men established Topeka Town Association, 1854. I love how they always give us the first cabin that was built there. And we get into some militia movements, the uh, admission of Kansas into the Union, 1861. The founding of Washburn University, 1865. During the late 1880s, Topeka passed through a boom period that ended in a disaster. Um, 1889 bubble burst, they say, uh, and many investors were ruined. But Topeka did manage to, to double in population size during that period of time and was able to weather the depressions of the 1890s. And that will explain the architecture, no doubt. I'll just roll through the file for you and try to pick out some of the highlights. We do have a flood narrative, 1908 Topeka experiencing a flood, uh, all too often with so many of these uh, cities. A really spectacular stone bridge here in Topeka, the Mellon Arch Bridge. And so many of these multi-storied brick and uh, stone or veneered um, polymer uh, bases. You'll see several of these as we move through the slide sh show here. Uh, the Boys Industrial Home, uh, Reform School, bit of a depiction. Here's the um, that main central building on its own. Beautiful structure. There it is again with the two outbuildings and the smokestacks in the background. I really like this one, the Capitol Building and Loan Association. Um, narrow multi-storied structure, very, very ornately finished. You can see all the decorations here. It would be quite an operation to build such a structure, in our, even in our modern day here. And these ones going back again over a hundred years. They put a clock at the top. Nice looking building. Bethany College, not to be confused with Lincoln College or Washburn University. Covered in vines, looking very old. More stonework going on there. No doubt it'll be uh, because of the uh, immigrants that came over from the countries that worked with stone, they'll say. Remember, my opinion is that uh, that story is uh, not accurate and has been uh, provided to us as an explanation for what we're seeing. We have an interesting... Uh, giant cabbage postcard going on here syncing nicely with some of the work i've been reading into lately uh, mind unveiled's been doing some fantastic work on the uh, cabbage babies um, i ordered the book and it was quite interesting definitely recommend checking that out uh, having to do with the reseeding of the realm <laughs> this is an interesting postcard too where the world is fenced in topeka hmm. A quick look again over at the Wikipedia. Um, early days of Topeka, uh, the steamboats regularly docking at the landing there, depositing meat, lumber, flour, potatoes, corn, wheat. Um, by the late 1860s, Topeka had become a commercial hub that offered many Victorian era comforts. Right, right. Of course, those Victorian era comforts coming with stone structures. columned structures. Topeka State Journal. Beautiful looking structure this one as well. I'm sure it's magnificent on the inside. <laughs> really enjoy these old uh, postcards. There's an interesting sense of humor in many of them. Come across them on cardcow.com. I'll put the link in the description. Looking a bit Art Deco, this one. National Reserve Life Building. And although it's difficult to tell in these postcards, I think there's a lot more um, decoration on this building going on than, than we're really seeing. There's the Assumption Church we were just looking at. There's the interior for you. Uh, every square inch covered in beautifully decorated finishing. And no shortage of churches, of course, again, in Topeka, you get this across the realm, across the continent, stone churches, very easy to construct uh, in the 1800s, apparently. Congregational church, once again, 
the structure next to it. There is an element of perfection to the uh, architecture that we see in these uh, these little old world uh, towns and cities. Uh, it's an element that we have trouble duplicating in the modern day. First Methodist, here's the same church with its tower still on the top, so you can see it's been decapitated for this photo here, but in this one it still has it. So covered in trees, very curious for a, a postcard why you would feature a building but then cover it with trees, almost covering exactly where the building lies in this photo. Uh, is that happening after the fact? It makes me wonder. Presbyterian Church, German Catholic, and I like this one as well. Uh, the Grace Cathedral, looking very similar to the German Catholic in some ways. Is it the same one? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But we have some interesting depictions of this structure. Here we have a very early drawing, and you can see if I quickly jump back this whole portion looks like it's been removed and scaled down compared to what we're looking at here in the drawing either that or the, it never existed in this state but um, we do know that they have been uh, scaling back the old world architecture systematically in many of these locations as well modern day look at the structure the grace cathedral I'm gonna look at the interior as well and again, another drawing of that cathedral. So, make of it what you will. Remember, it's all just my opinion. But no shortage of stone um, type structures here in Topeka, Kansas. The uh, frontier town, the beginning of the, well, I shouldn't say the beginning, but part of the Oregon Trail, the early days of the American Railroad expansion. Um, yet, in those early days, we are seeing these ornately decorated and built brick and stone structures everywhere. And the logic dictates that uh, these structures should be a lot simpler than what we would expect for a, for a civilization just getting on its feet, getting its feet under, its, under itself. But note, we had things like an auditorium with the, a pipe organ like this in it. We have gentlemen's clubs. No shortage of gentlemen's clubs, of course. Needing several locations for this gentlemen's club. Even a third location really makes you wonder. Another club. We'll keep moving forward. Depiction of the courthouse and post office. Again, remember, we don't have a large population here. You have to really do the math to understand what it would take to build this type of infrastructure. I think we give them far too much credit when we uh, pawn the saw off on the uh, people that lived at that time period in the fashion that we are told that they lived. Here we get a look at the old Shawnee County Courthouse, built in 1896, we're told, torn down in 1965, a likely story, a story that again repeats itself throughout the narrative. Magnificent looking structure. And as we take a closer look, we can see the type of decorations going on on this building. Looking like a bit of a dragon head or something going on there. Unfortunately, torn down in the 60s. But that was not the first county courthouse. We had one here, built in 1868, completed in 1868, um, demolished in 1977. Several courthouses. Well, this is the grounds of the Security Benefit Association Hospital. Uh, interesting grounds as well. You can see the main structure there. We have it in postcard form here. But the massive stack in the foreground there is interesting. And even just the way that this is landscaped and these the structures built in. You can see a hard line here, the way it's um the way that uh, the landscape rolls that way. It's interesting. Um quite the uh, quite the grounds, that's for sure. 
another hospital, Santa Fe Hospital, giving you an indication of what we call the old world. You have the state hospital, I believe this is the asylum, I've heard a lot of bad things about the Topeka um, Mental Asylum, if you're from the area and know anything and you want to add a little bit of Halloween flair, be my guest. But again, another part of that narrative that uh, repeats itself. Several hotels. This is the Fifth Avenue Hotel. Nice looking mansard roof there. So quite developed, quite well developed. Topeka, Kansas. The Hotel Jayhawk. We have a picture of the construction of this one. I don't know. Does that look real to you? In my opinion, there's something wrong with that uh, that picture, photograph, whatever you want to call it. So, just my opinion. Don't take offense to it. Here we have the uh, the lobby in that Hotel Jayhawk. Bit of an idea of the ornate finishing going on, and also some interesting symbolism here. Does that look like a Caduceus to you? Hmm. Interesting. Another hotel. You can see the stonework. This new Throop Hotel. And then you can see actually how it goes down here and here. Got a high spot on the corner. Hotel Kenzen. Really like the stonework here as well. Megalithic block work. What is the explanation for a lot of that? Make you wonder. Kansas Valley National Bank. So we have a depiction of that bank here. Looking much like so many of the uh, um, structures we see in these towns. Very interesting. The Free Library. Now this is the Memorial Building. I've got a better one here. Give you an idea of what we're dealing with here with the columns, the elevated columns. You can get a really good sense of the streetcars and the brickwork and the streets as well. So just again, just imagine what that would take to put all of this infrastructure in place. Really uh, quite the undertaking. There it is up close. Really looking and feeling very old world to my eye. But again, that is my opinion. You know, the Mills building, I know it's hard to make out there. We have some more construction photos. This isn't a bad construction photo, although the brickwork here seems a little bit suspect. <laughs> the Monkey Island at the Gage Party, I like this one. It seems like a bit, almost like a bit of a wink to the old uh, melt crew. Mulvane Bank here, you have the spiral stairs, fire escape coming down. Reminded me of what we saw in St. Joe, Missouri. We have the National Bank of Topeka, and that thing was demolished. Let's see here. Interesting, uh, interestingly shaped structure, having a bit of that Art Deco feel to it. Curious period of time, Art Deco. A lot of buildings going up in a uh, implausibly short time. Like the window was narrowing almost in the explanation for when these things were built. It's very interesting. The old Gage School. Spectacular looking post office. Could easily be a bank, could be both. There's the old post office. Now we get to my, one of my favorites really, the Rock Island Depot. This thing jumps out at you, doesn't it? The shape of this onion dome is really something very unique. It's a better look at it. You can see the stonework here too. But this is feeling almost very nautical, like uh, 20,000 leagues under the sea nautical. Very strange looking structure. Makes you wonder why on earth would you be building that way for a, uh, a, tr a, rain, a train station, excuse me. You can see the age on this too, with the, all the ivy climbing up it. 
whatever whatever that is um, in the old horse and buggy days and get the old street cars I think like it's been there a while the Rock Island Depot Here's the school, the main school, I would say. Look at it from above. Yes, in another place, in another time, it may be uh, considered a university, but here they're designated a high school. What a structure. Certainly don't build like that today, do we? Or like that, another school, another high school. Must have been lucky to be in high school back then in Topeka. We got to go to school in castles. There's the front entry of that, of this one here. Keep moving forward, we're coming to the end of the file here. But what's your take? Topeka, not a large city. Um, obviously boasting the state capital, you have a courthouse, you have a post office. Um, a couple post offices. A couple of fantastic um, hotels and uh churches schools you know ticking all those boxes really makes you wonder how all this would have gone up in that short period of time with such a small population and you can see here the infrastructure so these are all built out in this way uh the streets looking like they're built for the street cars like they like all of this was you know it wasn't like there was a an invention that came along it doesn't feel that way to me and they had to restructure society based around it this looks like it was all part of the same society and everything was built and laid out that way for a reason we get part of the washburn this is the washburn hall washburn university so we're going to see a couple structures from that and that's another indication of old world. If you live in a town, university town, you've got some of the old castles at the university grounds. Uh, I suggest those are old world buildings. Certainly worth scouting around, I think, if you're able to. To the gymnasium, You're looking like we have an observatory in the back there as well. The rice hall. And again, not even brick. We're looking at that stonework here. Very interesting. Uh, rice, rice Hall getting hit hard, not sure by what, hurricane probably, is that what you get down in Kansas? Tornadoes and hurricanes? You can see all these stone, magnificent stone structures on this uh, campus. And we finish like what we often do with a couple of YMCAs. A bit of a grainy postcard of this YMCA. Uh, the Railroad YMCA, 1903, they tell us. Thanks for putting that on the front of the building. And the Central YMCA with a couple of the uh, old world domes in the background. So this has been a look at Topeka, Kansas. Uh, if you have any suggestions for places for me to check out, put that in the uh, comments section. I'd be happy to poke around your area or area of your choosing. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.